Hello, YouTube. This is Kerry Smith. I'm founder of Dundesk. Wanted to bring in to highlight the fact that we are producing a compliance calendar that happens every month for our medical offices and dental practices. There are uh, every month we have a check in list of seven to eight things that you should check every month. And just as a way to help drip feed you a correct compliance process in your practice. One thing that we're highlighting in the month of July is a conversation that you should have with your IT provider. Cyber liability and data breach is a massive issue at the moment for a lot of our practices. And the first part of our evaluation of our practice should include our technical safeguards. In the technical safeguard conversation, a lot of times we're office managers, dentists, doctors. We don't know what the heck any of this stuff means. You may know what some of it means, but you really don't know behind the scenes. And what we found is with our insurance partner, Practice Secure Insurance, that as we deal with cyber data breach issues and we deal with fines and recovery processes, we find that sometimes IT providers just aren't doing the right things. So, uh, and you don't know this until there's a breach. <laughs> so you're like, How, why didn't I know this? Well, you didn't ask. So we've produced a top 10 questions you should ask for to your IT providers to help you evaluate what they're doing to protect you. Now, what a, this is a general guide. There may be specific things that you need based on your practices uh, size or or modality. Maybe you're dealing with uh, medical offices or you have mobile or you don't have uh, desktop computers, you have laptop computers. I don't know. You it, This is just a general guide because you may have something specific in your world that's different, that makes your risk different. Like maybe you do rest homes and uh, assisted living facilities in, in-house so you have a lot of mobile computers. There's differences here. But this is just a general guide. So I wanted to run you through the top 10 questions you should ask your practice IT provider to ensure that you are at least on the right path and having a conversation. So the first one is, what is your IT disaster recovery plan? You should have a plan in place if we face disaster. And the disaster is not just we've been hacked. It could be that the building burns or it could be a hurricane or some impedance to patients getting their patient data. That's one of the standards in HIPAA is that patients should always have access to their records. So you want to have a disaster recovery plan in place from a general perspective. From an IT angle, if you lost everything today, how quickly would you get back up to speed? That's a great question to ask. And then if they, the IT provider says, oh, it'll take a week, then you say exactly what are the steps we would need to take and see if they have a plan in place. What active measures are you taking in order to preemptively detect and remove cyber threats? As the systems are established, the standards are set for that day. The protective standards are set for that day. And as the environment around you changes, as the risk around you changes, there needs to be an active approach in protecting the data while it sits in your systems. So there are active approaches that are out there. Don't know if your IT guys and gals are doing this, so you have to ask them. What are they actively doing to detect and remove cyber threats as they become uh, into, as they come into your systems? Third one is, what is your IT provider's guaranteed response time in the event of a cyber attack? So if we have an attack of some sort, how quickly will we get response from you? And is this in a contract or a service agreement? What does that service agreement look like? And what happens if you don't meet this need? Because I can tell you as a practice owner, the days you are down are tens of thousands of dollars of lost production <laughs> and disruption for patients down the line because you've got to reschedule people. And it just has this ripple effect through time, and it, it's hard to quantify what that breach is. Your business insurance policy may cover some of these things as far as lost revenue. You have to check because cyber insurance is different than data than um, a practice insurance from a data breach angle. So you need to check with that. And our sister company, Practice Secure Insurance, can, can do that work for you. What is the process for discovering security vulnerabilities in your practice's current network and then bringing you up to modern security and compliance standards? Again, another question of active evaluation and monitoring. So you want to see what their monitoring process looks like and to ensure that nothing's going to be undetected. And so you can work through time, you can work through time with some sort of latent issue and not know it. You want to avoid that part. Are there any third parties parties auditing your IT provider's organization for compliance? So there are entities out there that set standards for the information technology world. One of those is the National Institutes of Standards and Technology. It's a federal entity 
that just establishes best practices for protecting patient data. They do a lot of research and they look at upcoming threats and known threats and all these things. So, but there are third parties that are auditors of IT providers. So that third parties can validate that your ID, IT provider is producing the correct product and protecting your business. So see if they have anyone that's third party, party auditing the IT providers systems and the work they do for compliance. Big one here, are your backups being done? Where are they being stored? Are your backups valid and up to date? And when was the last backup? So many times we've been involved in issues where the doctor or the office manager thought the backups were getting done because they were told by the IT provider that, yeah, your backups are getting done or the practice is doing their own backups. And the issue is, is that no one's validating the backups that there's no system in place to ensure that the backups are being done correctly and they're stored correctly. And of course, this if you're, if you're cloud-based and you're not storing data at your facility, this is a non-issue, but you wanna make sure that you do have backups in place and that, that you're validating that the backups are working. As, that's the next couple ones down here. So what if is the emergency plan if you lose data? How would you restore it? Now, business insurance policies do provide some recovery for lost data from a cost perspective, but you need to check into that and make sure that you have adequate limits because this can be expensive if you were to lose data. So what is the emergency plan if we lose data? How do we restore it? How quickly will it take to get back up to speed and get working? Understand all that from your IT provider because they're going to be helping you do that work and you need to see how long it's going to take because, again, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars in lost production and ripples through time impacting other patients because you got to get people rescheduled and um, – it's going to cause problems with your staffing as well. And then the last one here is for the question you should ask your IT provider is what is your professional liability policy? Can I get a copy of it? Can I make sure that you have some sort of protections in place that if you fail as an advisor and that there's an error or a mission, or perhaps they didn't do a backup, or perhaps they weren't monitoring like they said they were, and you suffered financially for that, there should be a malpractice policy in place. And so you can go seek recovery from that policy because generally speaking, a policy would be have like a million dollars per occurrence or $2 million per occurrence. And uh, it, most IT people that I've known <laughs> don't have 2 million bucks sitting in the bank waiting to pay for a big issue that happens. Now, remember this, this uh, data breach scenario we're talking about in this conversation, we're talking about getting your data back up so you can produce. If you've lost data, there are also HIPAA penalties for data breaches. And on average, the insurance companies tell us that the cost is $191 per patient record. So we're talking a lot of money if perhaps your systems are not protected correctly and your business suffers the risk and uh, you lose data, there's a, there's a big financial penalty here that you could possibly deal with. Not, not to mention the, the, not to mention the whole reputation piece and, you know, your patients getting banged up and all that. So uh, top 10 questions you should ask your dental practices, IT provider. If you need help, check into Dundesk. If you need coaching, check into Dundesk. If you need a system that's going to take care of you and keep all this straight, check into Dundesk. We appreciate the watch. Talk to you soon.